good morning. <laughs> We're uh, heading on our camping trip to the Adirondacks, so we figured we'd do some footage and uh, you guys can see what it's like. It's about uh, six o'clock in the morning and we're heading to uh, Floodwood region in the Adirondacks of New York. So it's about a five hour drive. Taking a couple couple canoes and a couple kids. Let's see, I got two canoes. On top of the truck. And we got all our stuff in bags so that it stays dry. Because last time we got downpoured on before we got to camp to make camp and turned into a real survival situation right away. So we won't do that again. So we'll see you in the Adirondacks. Sorry on Tiffer, she gets distracted. Daddy. I gotta watch her. Alright, it's oh. battles here. Oh. Sorry. This is where we're gonna dock. My legs are a little floppy, I've been driving all day. That's good. Beautiful wife. All right, we're gonna take our stuff down here into the lake. Gotta film this real man carrying the whole canoe down all the way from the truck like a lumberjack. <laughs> Is this the same place we went to last time? This same dock place? So real, real high. strong man. <laughs> the water's very high. Just leave it right there until you get the other one. It'll probably float away. I'll hold it. All right, look. I'll hold it, Daddy, hold it. Jada's already got her life preserver on. Ready for action? We like aluminum canoes. Here we are being super helpful. So here we are. Got the canoes loaded up with all our gear. We're heading out. Show you the other canoe. Loaded with gear. You want to look at the map and see where you want to go? <laughs> We're going to paddle out. Aloha. Aloha. Jada and the mother. Say aloha. <laughs> Can you say aloha? Aloha. 
How's your uh, paddling going, Abe? Abe, it's not hello high. Hello. Got some dark clouds. We were able to get but quite a bit of stuff in these canoes. There's clear, yeah. clear skies ahead. And less rain than last time. Taking a little relaxing break from the farm to come rough it in the woods. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even want to leave last time. I know. To do though, but all we got to do is get up, make a fire, and eat. Hang out. And go catch, fish catch fish so that we can eat. eat. <laughs> all right. Um, We're Daddy canoeing through here. Down. That's where we came from. And we're going through here. Okay, so this is our campsite. We canoed in through here. We checked out about oh, one, two, three, four other campsites. And we we're looking for one that we were really going to like. So we actually ended up finding this one. So we're starting to unload our gear. This one has nice canoe access where we can pull both canoes in. When the canoes are out of the water, we can actually go right in the water too. It's kind of like a nice shallow beach area. And then this is the whole top part that we can walk up. It's not too steep or dangerous for the kids. And then we go in this way. Let me show you. Jake is going to use his machete and clear this trail back a little bit, but this is it's a great spot. It's a great spot. It's very nice. So we've got this big cleared area. How far are we from the truck? Fire. Um, probably an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, you're paddling fast. Well, because this little stretch here is about 10 minutes further than we were last year and there's a picnic table guys this is so huge this is like a big deal to show up in the middle of the woods into the adirondacks and find a picnic table oh and it's, it says jane so it must be dedicated to someone or maybe someone brought it in here and built it where it stands so and then if you go this way look at there's a bathroom well it's like an outhouse but if you go through this trail which will be a nice place for the kids to play look at all this it's so private there's not campers everywhere and tons of noise look at this woods it's so cool And it's very clear. You can see for quite a ways, which makes me feel safer. Um, and then there's a outhouse type of potty out here. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit though. It's right there. And that top part opens up, it's the lid. And then there's a big pit in the ground with, you know, like outhouse kind of operation. So, alrighty, we're gonna go unpack the canoes, get the tent up, and set up camp. Then head out fishing to catch some dinner. If we don't catch any dinner, we will be cooking the food we brought, which is probably rice and some eggs for today. <laughs> All right got here building the lean-to because it might rain tomorrow and thank god it's not raining today last time we came here last year it downpoured on us with our friends and that was rough yeah it was going to get rained on and the, the tent ain't set up so we might be getting rain so we're getting a lean-to set up and something that i've been realizing is super priceless out in the woods is bringing a handful of nails. And a hammer and a tape measure. And a hammer and a tape measure. Because like, you can do this all without that. It makes it like a hundred times easier with.
right there. So there's a whole bunch of twine tack. Now we got this over here. We notched in a little support there. Notch those in. Yep. Because you can't put a nail in these live trees. I'll show you how to do a quick notch here. Also, tape measure makes things nice. Two and a quarter. So I've been just measuring down about four inches and then just cut about halfway through it. This also makes it easier when you don't want to use a lot of nails and connecting round pieces of wood together does not work well. So I'll just do this. You can do this with a, a hatchet also. Actually, the hatchet with a hammer would probably work best. But this is, it doesn't take too long to make. And it's green wood, so for the most part, it doesn't split easy. Or it's wet wood, you should say. Everything's kind of wet around here. There's the notch. You want me to pull the tarp? And last year I did one with twine and I definitely didn't put enough time into it. And it works, but... You were also putting it up in the rain. Sure. <laughs> so it was, you know, it's done a lot quicker. You didn't have a whole lot of time. We got to put all this stuff away and we did get the tent up. The kids are putting their bedding all inside. This is just so if it does rain, you got a spot to get outside. It's not just in a tent all day. It's going to rain. All day rain. A lot better about this than twine, though. He cleared this trail. That's pretty nice. So that we can get down to the canoes. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's good. And then you're gonna tarp the top too? Yeah. Well, I gotta wrap something over top here. For the seam. And then I think I'm gonna put, what do you think, this one straight out like this? Yeah. I mean, you can never have enough shelter if it's raining. If it's raining. And you're far from home. Oh, we can go <laughs> right over that if it's the same width. Nail it to that one, over it, and then come this way. Mm -hmm. I'll go I'll go five foot. But that's that's five foot. Is that far enough? Oh, yeah. It, yeah, that's plenty far. I don't want to get, if I go out here, we're getting in the way of that. No, thing. five is plenty. I'll go five, six. Seven, you five. could even do less. Okay, I'm gonna go put stuff away. Okay. Here's some progress on the rain shelter. Very nice. 
so there cool. He is. <sighs> well, here we are on the first morning of our camping trip. Jake's trying to dry his cowboy boots. Abe's eating tuna. Abe's eating tuna fish. Good morning. Jada's boiling some water. We all had some coffee and some hot cocoa. Our beautiful lean-to. All our stuff stayed dry. And it did rain last night. Did it? Yep. It hurts, Frank. This is our water purifier that we bought last year. It's so cool. Yeah, it's really the best handy. one we've ever had for camping. It is a Katadin. Six liter. That's a nice big one. So this top opens up. It's like a dry bag. And you roll it down and clip it. You fill it with water from the lake or the pond. Filters right inside there. And then it comes. You just hang it from wherever. And then, oops, sorry. And then it's got this gravity fed hose and a clamp. And it comes out fast. Faster than those pumps that you use when you're in your canoe and you pump your water into, into your water bottles. How did it get so wet? I stepped in. Three, oh, you stepped in the water. Three foot of water. Oh, I thought maybe you just had them in the canoe. I didn't know you were wearing them. That was before we got in the canoe. That's when we were a huge the tent. This is actually, I have two eight person tents and this one is way bigger than our other eight person tent. This one was off Amazon. It is Camp Pros. Camp Pros. It's a nice one. Makes the all the stuff hanging in there. Jake had to put hooks up because he's crazy about organization. Stay nice and organized. Yep. <laughs> Always bring your first aid kit. That way we can get hurt. That way we can get hurt. No, we don't want to get hurt. Still be okay. Hi, Jada Beta. He just straightened Boiling it. Boiling some water. He just straightened it. That's good. That's hot. It is. Yeah. Why are you stuffing it? It's boiled. It's good. All right, while we're heading out, I'll show you where we're headed. I know you've seen down this trail before, but it's so quiet and peaceful in the morning. There was quite a bit of canoes through here yesterday and kayaks. We can go either way. We can go that way or that way. See how it goes across the top, folks? It doesn't get a... Very nice. We should be able to get some fish pretty soon here. You should get one of those big heads on camera. It is fun. Cast it out further. Something's over there. I'm gonna cast over. He just casted where I there wanted to cast, him. and it's a big oh, old fish. We lost him. Oh, we lost him. Uh -uh. Did you see that now? No, I shut the camera off because I was going to cast there real fast, and then you were like, bam, I'm going to cast right there where you wanted to cast. I had him on too. Yeah. Swam, swam in full speed. That's why I couldn't keep the hook tight. Well, I guess I'll let you cast there. No, it's filming a loon. Look at these beautiful flowers everywhere. 
Doesn't get any more peaceful than this. These people, get yourselves to the Adirondacks. Canoe access areas only is the best areas, in our opinion. I didn't even wear shoes. It's good. They're not needed. They got bored at the campsite, so they wanted to come by us. They're like, we can see you. Can we come out to you in the canoe? Nice maneuvering. It almost hit us head on. That's not steering, Jada. Okay. Abe, quit clanging in the canoe with your paddle because we're trying to stealth fish here. This is his hardest paddle. No, it's not. It is. Well, I don't know how you go care. like that. My back hurts. <laughs> I'm doing more work than you are. Oh, we only had three, I'm sorry. And I'm doing more work. And the one at that last store was sixty bucks. Actually, it was like sixty four ninety five. Back would recover for sixty bucks. I was like, no, not buying that. I never had a canoe chair when I was younger, so. So you don't get one. Now we turn fast. I learned this from mom. She didn't teach me, but I watched. Everybody needs one of these. A solar phone charger. It's also got a flashlight on it. And you can charge it. It's got a USB port and a type C port. And it's super awesome. Works really fast. Just set it in the sun. Got it off Amazon. Even though I wish I didn't support them as much as I do. <laughs> You're like an Amazon salesman. <laughs> I mean, I shop there all the time. Distributing a product that's made by someone else. It's not like. Sometimes it's a small business owner. Could be. If you know where the product's made, right? Like I could make, I could produce something and sell it on Amazon. Where's the campsite that we went to last year? It's just the big commercial products that I don't like to buy. But you can't find them local, I guess. You gotta buy it on Amazon. Last year, right there, is where I caught a huge bass. And this is what I caught it on. My favorite lure. This is my beautiful frog. And it's got three hooks, and its legs do a spinning motion. Like that in the water. Looks like a boat propeller in the water. It's pretty fantastic. Top water frog. Let me show you it's let me show you this lure's action. That's what she looks like. All right, here we are. Jada. Hi. She's uh. Must be corn. Jada, don't. Work. <laughs> you enjoying your time here in the Adirondacks, Jada? Yeah. What are you doing there? Husking corn. We got our little cookout here. It's sprinkling. Oh, Aber McDaber over here. Also known as Man Boy. Hanging out. And panning this way, we got the mother with her nice setup on, her nice gear. <laughs> She's pretty good at tending to the fire. Does a good job. They're husking some corn. We're going to boil some corn up. We're all uh, withdrawing from civilization. I'm not. I'm enjoying the quiet. Tipper's liking it, though. I didn't like the drive. I think the kids are missing having the fridge close by <laughs> and all their snacks. Snackers. Not gonna lie, I'm craving snacks. You are? You never crave snacks. No, he loves them. So I said, 
like they say you never crave snacks. It's like a little hut. But then you always crave snacks. He loves snacks. This is where I'm hanging out. In my chair, about to break it. In Jada's chair that she's very possessive of. Did you buy this chair, Jada? No. I paid for oh, you, honey, you buy that's this. You, I bought the chair. You bought that chair for so, her. It's already stretched out. Jada's becoming a young adult. She's learning these things. Right, Jada? What? Yeah. All right, well, let's go fish. Just kidding. <laughs> You're looking real swole. <laughs> Give a little flex. <laughs> oh, my arms are my arms are noodles. <clears throat> a nice soggy fire. <laughs> Ta-da! It's a lot of work, but they burn long. <sighs> Let's go fishing. Come on. All right. Wait, what? Today's catch. It's gonna be our breakfast. Pretty, pretty decent breakfast there. Five fish. Add it up fairly quick. Mm-hmm. I mean, it took a little while though. They really weren't biting. No, and we didn't catch it. We caught one yesterday at the end. Yeah. So this looks like a real good day, but we didn't catch any for the first one hour and a half. Yeah. And then we started using worms fake worms that sink, moving them real slow, and they're hitting that. Shady, can you grab the knife sharpener that's hanging in there? So we're gonna pan fry these. Bread them up and pan fry them for breakfast, and Jake's gonna fillet them. Oh, we're doing breading this time? There we go. Yeah, we're there. Alright, so we got it all filleted up. There's the scraps. Scrambled some eggs in here, which we're gonna dip the fish in. After we clean, this is all our fish meat. We gotta clean it. So. Here, you can put it in this and take it down to the water. Yeah, for. So it's just some leftover droplets. Maybe you wanna carry this? Chocolate. No. You carry this? No. Abraham. And Jada, can you carry the bag while you're taping there? The bag of eggs? I can, yeah. Too. It's a bit. No, I was just gonna heat that up on the fire. It's got soap in it. Dish oh. soap. Can I see the, the fish next? Can you just put some water in my wash bucket? 
I have soap in it right here. There's blood all over that. It's okay. Okay, Abraham. Give dad the fish, Abe. Uh, don't have the point tipping off. So I'm gonna get to cut. Where do I put this? It's gonna tip. Take it up to the campfire. Is it? Let's come here. Fish swimming around an hour ago. Did he clean the knife? Yeah. Yep. Nab's clean. Bullet's clean. I don't want you carrying that. I'm gonna carry. I'm gonna carry the knife. We can avoid accidents. We're very far away from help. Lard, this pan? lard here for, uh, should I do them on separate pans? Like they cook faster then. Yeah, sure. Maybe. We still gotta wait for the potatoes to be done, Nate. I'll just use this pan, it's already done. Okay. Got lard from the farm, potatoes from our farm, and peppers. Gotta bring the lard camping. This has been nice. Last year we, we cooked over a fire which worked, but it was probably everything took three times as long. At least three times as long. Yeah, this thing heats up really quick. This is nice. We can actually cook multiple things at once too if we wanted to. Yeah. My big knife. You brought it. I know. Hey, do you know where my big knife is? That can you find me that chopper knife? Mm, I don't know. It's in. I know it's in the bin. Some onions too, please. It's nice, nice because you can grab everything. No, I'm gonna boil some water to put in that wash bucket. Hey, I need hot these water. Two to potatoes. Wash that line. Actually, these all got dirt on them. Go wash them off. We scrambled our eggs in this bag. You want to put the fish in there, Pepper? Or are you ready to get them in? Oh, they're not in yet. You ready for them to be in here? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're just sitting there. Well, we're packing out of here in the morning, so we wanted to get one last video in of our little canoe trip back to our campsite. And it's just as quiet and as calm as can be. So enjoy.
I don't want it to rain anymore. We've had a good amount of rain on this trip, so it's good that we had the lean-to up. Takes about an hour to get back to the campsite, paddling through all of this canoe access only areas. I haven't seen any bears or any moose, thankfully. Yeah, we saw deer and ducks and loons. And what else did we see? I saw a bunch of chipmunks. We saw lots of turtles, painted turtles. We saw fish. Um, yep, frogs. I saw, I saw like a mink running around on the shoreline. That's where you want to cast, right in there. Did you guys push in there? Yeah. Not in this, not in this one. Get a lot of time to fish. Because the current moves so quick. Going against this current is really something. Does something on the arms. Are you going with the current right now? Well, when we came up this way earlier, it was like waving. It had so much current because it was super windy. The wind is whipping through. Yeah, and we were going against the wind and the current. It was fantastic. Cool spot to Some spots are really shallow, but it's all pretty deep right now because this water is like two feet higher than it usually is. Maybe more. Maybe more? Yeah, it might be two feet higher. Maybe three feet higher. There's some serious flooded areas. Yeah. I mean, there was spots last year where we were just skimming over the sand. Yeah. But if it's that shallow and you get like bottomed out, the you just hop out and drag your canoe forward. Yeah, you gotta walk it up. Yep. But last year was dry. This year is not dry. Yeah, it was. It's total opposite. We're seeing it to extremes. Drought. Bloody. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're just leaving this little river and it's going to open up into, is that square pond? Yeah. Little square pond? I think it's, yeah. And this is actually the campsite that we stayed at last year on the peninsula here. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool site, but it's high winds. For it's really nice because you get some sun in there and it's nice for drying clothes it's got good access because you climb up the roots to go in yeah that's the site up there we'll get a good shot in at a minute in a minute no we can just get a shot right here so that's the site we used last year right there no Seems like they put, put the picnic tables in harder to get areas. To maybe deter people from the most popular sites? Or, or yeah, or not give people a picnic table that are going for the easiest one. Yeah, or to make the other sites just as nice. Yeah. Because that one's a nice one, because it's pretty... Easy ac very easy access. Pretty flat and pretty cleared. It's a cool spot. Nice Got a nice large clearing. In the view. Mm -hmm. And then there's another site over there with like a little beach area. But the one, the site we have is fantastic. So then this is the big square pond. It goes all the way back there. Last year there were really cool places to explore in that campsite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a hiking trail that goes through yeah, there. Yeah, there are some nice hiking trails. That random people will just walk right through your site right there. So that was a little bit less secluded. Me and Lydia, we, we saw some really cool. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.